Hello everyone, this is Matthias from Interactive Asia. Um, today I want to show you our new developed uh, Opti2U simulator. As you can see here, we created uh, a visualization of different setups, uh, which should help you or give you ideas uh, yeah, how you can set up Opti2U or how you can use Opti2U to uh, create interactive areas, interactive floors here, or interactive large walls, projections, LED walls, or even here multi-sensor setups over a corner of two walls, for example. Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, let's start here with our with our LED wall setup, with that one. So as you can see, I have here my, my character, and of course, uh, in this case, the sensor is mounted above the screen, right, as you can see here. So most of our sensors uh, are pretty much working uh, exactly the same. They just have different features. But, but uh, here, let's say, uh, the sensors uh, seeing basically, um, yeah, downwards here, yeah. So they're seeing basically up away from uh, from the cable outlet, right? Um, of course, here in this, in this scenario now, we have the sensor mounted above the screen. Let's also uh, quickly explain that green area. That green area basically simply represents a screen, a real physical screen that could be a LED wall, that could be a projection or whatever, right? So, okay, that means this sensor is now, uh, yeah, scanning downwards and is covering uh, that whole physical LED wall, for example, right? And as you can see here, the sensor is now uh, with the orange cap facing away from the wall. This is this is one standard uh, setup, but you also can install it like this. If you install it like that, then, uh, then you are able to bring that invisible uh, infrared light curtain basically more close to the wall right uh, that's especially important if you if you want to have uh, finger precision and things like that right so again you can mount it like this and of course then you have here the base which uh, which basically uh, yeah limits you um, yeah to, to bring the sensor closer to the wall but again you also can mount it like this and then you are able to bring it much more closer to the wall so another setup uh, is that you mount it basically on the floor right so now you can see the sensor is mounted down here now right so we have the sensor down here now and of course uh, also here you can uh, switch the, the rotation basically right you also can face it like this uh, or like this right so this is a yeah the example basically for the for the wall setup um, then maybe let's go directly here to the to the floor or, or feet tracking or leg tracking right so in this case for example uh, the sensor is somewhere standing here on the floor right like this and is scanning here a couple of centimeters above the floor and is tracking then basically uh, the feet of, uh, of the person or the persons right so let me take over here quickly to this character and let's run a little bit inside and of course as you can see um, now Opti2U is recognizing each footstep of this character, right? And of course, uh, one thing you can see it here directly, let's say one person is standing here now, right? Um, and is throwing a shadow. So that means that uh, this person cannot be tracked, right? Because it's, she's standing uh, in the shadow of this person, right? So this is this is one limitation what we have, at least with, with uh, one uh, single LiDAR setup, right? Um, exactly. Of course, uh, here you also can see how we simulate basically that Opti2U is also seeing here objects. Yeah, this could be pillars or similar like over there. Um, but uh, in the Opti2U software, um, you are able to, to create basically blocking areas, right? Where you say, I mean, let's say... Uh, this setup is now, uh, yeah, this this is a setup, right? You you made a calibration in Opti2U. And uh, if you don't put a blocking area over this area here, over this corner, right, in Opti2U, then uh, this area will always create touch points, right? And of course, uh, obviously, most of the installations, uh, you don't want to get touch points from, from static objects in your room, right? Uh, so, so for this, you simply uh, add a blocking area in Opti2U. And that's basically it, right? And then, uh, uh, yeah, no touch points gets recognized in that area. Um, of course, also maybe a little bit for explanation. I mean, uh, it's just for visualization purposes right now. Um, 
Of course, all of our sensors, they have at least angular resolution of 0 0.25 degrees or 0 0.33 with the OT300. Um, and what you can see here, the visualization uh, shows only a one degree, basically. Uh, but of course, our real sensors, uh, they have a, a much more uh, finer, uh, smaller angular resolution, which, uh, yeah, which basically means that much more rays in real life will, will hit, uh, yeah, here the, the characters feed right and uh, yeah it, it will be much more precise i will also show you that here now because here we have 0 0.25 angular resolution right and as you can see if i walk here in then you can see uh, much more rays uh, will hit here basically this character right um, let me also quickly go to that flying camera and uh, let's go here to this character right and here you can see for example uh, with that 0 0.25 degree angular resolution uh, a finger gets easily recognized right um, regarding the angular resolution i have also another example let's jump in here quickly so here you can see basically the difference uh, here uh, our megan character is uh, pointing with one finger we have here a uh, one degree resolution and a uh, uh, this character here is basically touching into that uh, yeah, infrared light curtain um, with the hand, right? So if I decrease now our, anc our angular resolution to 0 0.5, then you can see the smaller I go, the more rays will basically hit the finger or even the hand then, right? So as you can see with 0 0.33, two rays uh, hitting the finger, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, uh, we have here 3, 4, and here many, many more, right? So depending on your, yeah, on your setup, on your project, uh, yeah, just uh, check on our website website or talk to us uh, and uh, yeah we will we will suggest you uh, the best sensor for your setup to make it as precise as possible right and then the last thing what i want to show you is here our multi-sensor setup right so let's say uh, let me fly there quickly with the camera let's say we have uh, or you have a wall right uh, over over a corner right and then you have a projected wall a and a projected wall on the on the other side right um, of course, uh, to, to realize such setups, to make both walls interactive, you have to uh, uh, install two sensors, right? In this case, uh, we simply put one sensor here, right? Which is uh, responsible uh, for that, yeah, for this wall. And then we have a second sensor, which is basically responsible here for that other wall, right? And then in opti 2 you basically simply have to set up uh, two sensors in the same opti 2 instance, yeah, so only one, software uh, you you only need to run one opti to your instance and uh, in that opti to your instance you simply have to set up sensor a and sensor b with the different sizes of the walls um, and and so on basically okay i hope uh, this uh, helped you a bit and uh, let me know in the comments if you if you want to have uh, some more examples or visualizations how you can use opti to you thank you until then bye bye